guys, welcome back to Japan Soul Traveler. Today I will walk you through Hirozaki. This is a little different from the other videos because, um, well, Hirozaki was a very nice city and I spent there a week or so, and so I would like to introduce it to you. Hirosaki is located in the southwest uh, Aomori-ken, in the Tsugaru region, south of Mount Evaki, which you can easily spot from uh, the city, and it's amazing, it's huge, and it's like a dormant volcano. And uh, it is, well, mostly renowned because of the uh, spring Matsuri, which take place in the castle. So, of course, this wasn't the right time to visit, of course. However, there is also a very nice Matsuri that begins uh, with the end of the October, so right this time of the year, and it's uh, completely dedicated to the Momiji. The first time I arrived there, I take a quick look around the castle. You can see the park and walk around all the, um, all the area. The area surrounding Hirosaki formed part of the domains of the northern Fujiwara clan in uh, Heian period, but it was later awarded to the Nambu clan at the beginning of Kamakura period after the defeat of the northern Fujiwara. During the Sengoku period, Oura Tamenobu declared his independence and seized local castles and he assisted Toyotomi Hideyoshi at the Battle of Odawara and was confirmed in his holding and changed his name to Tsugaru. After siding with Tokugawa Ieyasu uh, in the Battle of Sekigahara, he began the construction of the castle in Takaoka. Takaoka is the ancient name of Hirosaki, so the castle dates back to the end of the 16th century and uh, successor of uh, Oura Tamenobu, uh, Tsugaru Nobuhira, completed the castle in uh, 1611. I decided that the castle was worth the visit and so I, I walked there and you have this very uh, long walk around uh, the the river and you then enter there and you find yourself in the Hirazaki Koen which is very huge and it's uh, full of activities and you can walk by and you cross so many red, uh, red bridges and finally you get to the central tower of the, of the castle. Uh, so it turns out to be a very very lovely walk. Fortunately, I couldn't see all that uh, red in the trees, uh, I was a little early actually, but it is undoubtedly a place to visit and to remember, even because, uh, unlike uh, Aomori, Hirosaki was not heavily bombed during the Second World War, so you can still appreciate uh, some area with a more traditional and uh, ancient, uh, how to say, um, ancient style, ancient uh, atmosphere.
So when you get out of the northern gate, you find yourself in the, in the uh, historical area that is called Nakamachi Buke Yashiki, which is the old uh, samurai residence area. And it's um, a whole neighborhood where the, where, uh, the houses are uh, original from that period, so they are still in the traditional fashion and it's uh, a very unique atmosphere and it's not so easy to find uh, nowadays in big cities. W wherever you travel to Japan it's very hard to find that kind of building and so this was a very interesting and incredible sightseeing actually. Not far south of the Hirosaki Park and Castle you can find Zenringai, which is a district with two streets packed with temples. They are actually 33 temples and shrines, uh, mostly temples, so mostly Buddhist. Many of them are um, relocated here, here from their original location. Again, it's very unique to find a street like this, a neighborhood like this, where you can actually visit so many temples. Of course, this is not the place to discuss each of these temples, because it would be a very long and probably boring video, but it's a very, very interesting area, and you find yourself often surrounded by woods and trees, so you are walking in all, almost complete silence.
you can easily see the different styles of temples and the different architectures and uh, it's very interesting because at the end of the main street you find uh, one of the most important temples there which is the Chosho Jin Temple, which was the family temple of the Tsugara family, and not far from that there is um, actually one of the most strange traditions I found in Japan, which is uh, uh, the location of the one of the most ancient Mira. The Mira were uh, like Buddhist monks, then decided to undergo a very intense diet and a very intense purification in order to achieve the perfect body, a body that will not decay, and so in a way mummify themselves. And uh, Hirosaki is one of the most famous there. I think that now it's not possible to see it because it seems like it was uh, closed. But it's still a very interesting tradition and the walk itself was very, very nice. Of course, Hirosaki has also many uh, modern, modern style attraction and like any other Japanese city today, you can find big mall and department stores. You can actually go there and enjoy the whole package, tradition and modernity and of course a lot of food. There is a very nice uh, area with little, uh, with little uh, restaurants with different tastes, so you will find yourself with a lot of choices. And of course, Hirosaki is also very close to Aomori, so you can easily take a train there and in uh, I don't know in uh, 40 minutes you will be in Ahomori and of course there it's a whole other story. I really hope you enjoyed this little walk with me and if you did please thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet you can do it it's free and uh, maybe you will find some interesting ideas about your next travel to Japan and uh, well thanks for watching and I talk to you soon. Bye!